We're going to find the velocity of this 4 kilogram block when it hits the floor. We could do this using torque equations, find the acceleration, then use kinematic equations to figure out the velocity, but we're going to do it using conservation of energy. So using conservation of energy, we have an initial side of our equation and a final side. So let's go through all the objects. Uh, so we could have kinetic and potential energy for the 4 kilogram block, plus kinetic and potential energy for the 2 kilogram block, plus kinetic energy of the pulley. Some of these things will be zero, uh, but afterwards we could have all of the same things. Now let's go through and see what is going to be zero. Initially, nothing's moving, so all of our kinetic energies are zero, and our two kilogram block is on the floor, so its gravitational potential energy is zero. Afterwards, everything's moving, so all of our kinetic energies are going to be present, uh, and the four kilogram block will be on the floor, so its gravitational potential energy is zero. Now let's go through and plug in some equations here. So we'll have our MGH, for our 4 kilogram block. For our initial side, final side, we're going to have 1 half mv squared for our 4 kilogram block plus 1 half mv squared for our 2 kilogram block plus our mgh for the 2 kilogram block and 1 half I omega squared for the pulley. Now one half I omega squared for the pulley is great, but we don't have I and we don't have, we're looking for velocity, not angular velocity. So let's uh, modify this a little bit. Our I for a disk, you can look it up, is one half mr squared and our omega in terms of velocity is going to be v over r and we're going to square that. So we can go through here and our r's are going to totally cancel out. So our one half i omega squared becomes one fourth mv final squared. So let's put that back in the equation we just had. Putting that all together we end up with our gravitational potential energy initial and then our final energies. Notice that our H final and our H initial are both going to be one meter. Now if we solve for V final and we plug in all of our numbers, you're going to end up with a final velocity of 2.37 meters per second.